Welcome back to Dickin' Around Outdoors. Now today, we are going to do another installment of our classic Campfire Cuisine series. For those who have been with the channel for quite some time, you know what I'm talking about. For the new subscribers, classic Campfire Cuisine is really old school camping recipes uh, that we've had for years or we found in old books. And I think they're great recipes, but they are not fancy, they're not foodie, and you're not really going to want to take a picture for your Instagram channel. But what they are is dang tasty, always pretty easy to make, use a lot of ingredients that don't need to be refrigerated, so you're saving cooler space, you're saving refrigerator space if you're lucky enough to have one of those, and they're just rib sticking and easy to cook. So today's recipe is wild rice and hamburger casserole. We're gonna whip it up in a large 10 inch Dutch oven over some charcoal. You could very easily do this one over a camp stove or clearly over the fire since it doesn't need to be heated from the top. But we're gonna use charcoal today. Uh, we've got a very fancy Dutch oven table set up here. It's simply our Snow Peak cocktail table with a baking sheet on top of it just to protect it a bit. And that's what we're gonna cook on today. So let's get the charcoal going and we'll get to cooking. Our charcoal's looking good. It's ashed over, but not entirely. I don't want it to be entirely ashed over. It lasts a little bit longer when you're doing this. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna dump the charcoal out, a decent bed here under the oven, spread it out, and then we're gonna set the oven on, just let it warm up a bit. Because we're gonna do some sauteing here at first. Looks like we got not so flat of a surface, so we have a spinning Dutch oven today, but it'll work just fine. Looks like our oven's getting hot, so we're gonna go ahead, just give it a quick shot of Pam. And the first order of business is to brown up a pound of ground beef. Since this is hamburger and wild rice casserole, that would be a good place to start. Oh yeah, nice and warm. I like to hear that sizzle. The hamburger looks brown now, so we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna to toss in vegetables. Today we're just using a combination of celery, carrots, onions, and parsnips. You feel free to use whatever you want. This is your meal, so if you don't like parsnips or celery, substitute whatever you want. We're just gonna mix that in. We're gonna let it cook down for just a couple minutes. No reason to really saute this too hard. And then we are gonna add the rest of the ingredients, put the lid on and let it simmer. So we're gonna add the rest of the ingredients. So first off, we've got some white rice, and this is not cooked. Put that in. We've got our wild rice, and we did pre-cook this at home. I will put all the ratios and measurements below, but this is pre-cooked. bit of water because that rice is always thirsty. And what seems to be a staple of all the classic campfire cuisines, a can of creamed Campbell's soup. This happens to be cream of mushroom. We're gonna get this in there, mix it all up good, pop the lid back on, bring it to a simmer and then just sit back and uh, enjoy this because I will tell you, I don't think that cooking at camp has to be hard. I think it should be enjoyable. I think it should be relaxing. And Dutch oven cooking by its nature just seems to be a relaxing way to do it. And if you're using a recipe like this that doesn't require a lot of fancy cooking techniques or ingredient prep. I think it just makes it that much easier. Once this is mixed up, you put the lid on, you grab a cocktail, you sit around, you watch it cook, and you just really enjoy the experience, enjoy being out in nature. There's really nothing, nothing wrong with that at all. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna put the lid on, check it if it gets simmering too hard. We'll take some of the coals out of the bottom and if we start losing some coals, we'll just whip up a new batch, put it on there. 
But at this point, we're gonna let that cook for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and then it'll be done. So stir it every now and then, and we're good to go. So we're done, 25 minutes in, the rice is tender, it's absorbed most of the water. We're gonna dish some up, we're gonna taste it. I think we're probably gonna need a little salt and pepper, but I'm always hesitant to salt things that have canned soup in them because there's a lot of salt in that. Maybe this would be a good thing for some hot sauce. Kind of dish it up any way you like, but we're gonna go ahead and dig in. So, cooking in a Dutch oven, I guess the way Forrest Gump would describe it is Dutch oven cooking is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. And I don't mean that in a bad way. Today, you might notice that the Dutch oven is sitting on a small trivet. We did pull that out. We had a pretty aggressive simmer going, so we popped the Dutch oven up on a trivet, kind of moved the charcoal out and made a ring around the outside of the oven. And even with this wind, that was plenty of heat and it simmered away beautifully. So now we're gonna try some and let you know how we like it. There was some room for some salt and pepper on this. I think hot sauce would be great. The uh, vegetables still have a bit of a snap. The uh, wild rice has some toothsomeness, if that's the right word. So overall, I think this is a winner. It's got your starches in it, your meat, your vegetables, plenty of fat, no doubt. And it's really good and a great base if you wanted to spice it up a bit, throw some Cajun spice or something like that in here would be really good. Hot sauce. So I think it's kind of a good palate if you wanted to make it your own. But right now, I'm gonna make it my own and dig in. Whew, so I'm full. Dishes are put away. We're gonna just relax now. But I wanted to say thanks for joining us. If you like the content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button in the lower right-hand corner. And as always, take care. We'll see you outdoors.